I've been using Perplexity for quite a while now, but what I came across recently is this amazing app, which is Perplexica, an open source alternative to Perplexity. Now, what you can do with this app is you get different modes like academic, writing, this YouTube, and there's even this co-pilot mode, which will give you the relative data and you can add your OpenAI's API key as well as the Grox API key and you can run local LLMs on it using Olama. And again, you can run this locally and it is open source. So if we go to their repo and we scroll down, we see they have different features like the co-pilot mode and a normal mode as well as a few focused modes. But the best part about this is that you can install this locally and it is completely open source. So if we scroll down a bit, you even get a one-click installation with which you can deploy this hassle-free. But of course, this is going to cost you some money. And don't worry, I'm going to show you both of the ways of how to locally install this and how to use this one-click deployment as well. And they have some amazing upcoming features like finalizing the copilot mode and adding the discover and history saving features as well. I'm really excited about this. So without further chatter, let's jump to my terminal and start with the first method of installing this locally on your machine. So we are here at our terminal and one thing to notice here is that make sure that you're using the root terminals or the administrator terminal. After that, let's actually go and clone this git repo from here. So let's copy that and let's paste that right in here and let's hit enter. So now that our GitHub repo is cloned, all we have to do is move to the repo folder, which is going to be Perplexica. After that, let's have a look on all the files that we get in the repo. So what we need to do is we need to rename this sample.config.toml file and add some configuration in it. And after that, we can run Docker Compose up to actually deploy this. So let's actually go and rename this file here. So I'm going to go and say move, then sample.config.toml. And then I'm going to rename this as config.toml. Now, if we list the files again, you can see that the file is renamed right here. Now let's go and add the configuration inside this toml file. So I'm going to go and open up this inside Vim here. So let's go and do config.toml and there you go. Now here you will have to add your OpenAI's API key right here. You can add your Gronk API key if you want to. And you can even add your Olama's endpoint here if you're running a local model. But for me, I'm going to go and go with the OpenAI's API key as well as the Grox API key. So I'm going to go and add them right here. And after that, I'll be right back. So I'm done adding my API keys. Now what you need to do is just run this Docker Compose up with the flag D to actually deploy this over at Docker. But make sure that you are inside the directory where you have this docker compose.yml file. Otherwise, this won't work. So let's hit enter. And there you go. Once you're done deploying it, all you have to do is go with docker compose and up. And this will spin a localhost server on which your perplex cow will be running. So as you can see that my server is running on localhost 3000. So I'm going to go and open up that inside my browser. And there you go. As you can see that I'm running localhost 3000 and I have my Perplexica working for me. So this was one of the ways to install this locally. Now let's actually go to the one click installation. And after that, let's actually go and test this out a bit. So let's go back to the repo. And here, if we scroll down, we will have this deploy on repo cloud. So let's click on that. We will have to have our account on repo cloud.io. I already have that. So I don't need to create an account. I just have to click on deploy. And here I'm going to go with Perplexica. And as for the OpenAI's API key, it's kind of confidential. So I'm just going to go and add that here and deploy the app. So once you're done adding your API key and clicking on deploying, it will go on and start deploying your app, just like this one here. It will take some time, but once it's done deploying, you can actually see your app up and running. So this was another method of how you can deploy your app without any hassle by just one click but of course this is going to cost you some money if you go with the third party cloud option but to be frank this is your personal preferences if you want to do that be my guest so back again at our amazing search engine so let's go and actually put this to test and see whether it actually is what they claim it to be so i'm gonna go with the copilot mode so i'm gonna go with something related to top five ai art generators so let's go and ask it top five ai Art generators. So there you go. The results are out. 
it went on on 1, 2, 3 and plus 12 more. So it went on on 15 different sources, got all the information, a really concise way of putting the information into bullet points. And after that, it even gave us the related questions that we can ask by just clicking on the plus here or over at the question. And what we can do is we can even search for images. So if I go and click on here, I can actually search for all the related images related to these AI art generators. And if I go with the videos, I can go on and search for the videos as well. And that's not all. There are tons of different modes like this academic mode, this Reddit mode and much more. So you can select any of these modes and actually start searching using this amazing app. I mean, I'm quite surprised by this open source AI alternative to perplexity. And you can even install this locally. So let's actually go with the last question. And I'm going to go and ask it about our YouTube channel, which is Skill Curve. So let's go and see whether it knows what Skill Curve is or not. So let's go and hit enter. So there you go. The output is here. It went on on different YouTube sources as well as a website. And then it said that Skillcurve is a company that specializes in creating cutting edge technology courses designed to be easy to understand. Therefore, these courses at affordable prices and pride themselves on having instructors from around the world and much more. So yes, it does know what Skillcurve is. And if you scroll down, you can even get related questions about Skillcurve. So I'm really excited about the upcoming updates in this open source alternative to perplexity. So if you go back to their GitHub repo, here if you scroll down, you will see that they have some upcoming features like they're going to finalize the copilot mode as well as adding discover and history saving features. I'm really excited about how it's going to evolve in the upcoming months. So with that said, that wraps up our video for today. If you found this video insightful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video where we continue to curb your skills with the latest tech. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.